I can also confirm to you that government's position on the membership of the new council is that individuals, individuals who sat on the old council ought not to be on the new council. The reason is this. The old council is a party to the ampas that took place on the K University campus. Just as the actions of students, student leaders, school management, and the council will be subjects of the full investigation when the university is reopened, it is important to ensure that a council that is put in place has the freedom of hand, etc., to superintend that exercise. So the specific persons who constituted that old council cannot therefore preside, in our opinion, over the matters in which their own decisions and conduct will be a subject. It is in this spirit that government and some other groups have already indicated new nominees. Now, it's important to know that in the matter of group seats on the council, the K University Act requires representatives from those groups. It does not ask for specific individuals. Government is also not interested in deciding which specific individuals that they nominate. We are not interested in that. The principle of specific persons who will end up becoming judges in their own course is what government disagrees with. I'm sure you understand me. So it's precisely to resolve this disagreement that the chancellor is taking leadership in engaging with the various nominating groups. And we are looking forward that we can have a quick resolution to this matter once all the parties cooperate with us and we have those new names, a new council will be put in place, and then all the emergency measures we have had to take as we intervened will now be handed over to this new council to take the process forward.